All right, I'm gonna do a quick video on Bible verses that clearly condemn the sin of interracial marriage, or uh, probably called miscegenation, but these uh, verses are mostly in the Old Testament, and people say, ah, in the Old Testament. Well, I hate to break it to you, the Old Testament is still God's word. For instruction in righteousness, not always, not always for salvation, but for instruction in righteousness, yes. So the verses that condemn the sin of miscegenation are Numbers chapter 25, verse one to nine, Ezra chapter 10, verse 18 and 44, Ezra chapter 9, verse 1 to 15, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse, verse 1 to 38, Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 1 to 8, and Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 23 to 29. These passages, portions of scripture, or passages, clearly condemn miscegenation, because the Jews in these passages, the Israelites, were intermarrying with people of other kindreds, and God clearly condemns it. In fact, Ezra, in the book of Ezra, actually goes up and asks God to forgive them. He prays for Israel, who were intermarrying at the time and they, were, they weren't intermarrying with people of other religions people will say oh it's just people of other religions uh clearly clearly condemns them marrying people of other kindreds and you say well that's the old testament okay well show me a verse in the new testament where god condones of interracial marriage and they'll say well what about you know for there's no difference between the jew and the greek uh it's not talking about marriage it's talking about how you're all one in christ jesus and it doesn't say you're, that god's okay with interracial marriage these verses in Numbers, Ezra, and Nehemiah clearly condemn it. So, and this whole, and, and here's the thing: what is the whole agenda of this? This, um, like, why is the world promoting miscegenation so much? I mean, because if God was okay with miscegenation, why is the world, the secular world, promoting it so much? I mean, I was going to Shoppers Drug Mart one time, and I saw this big giant poster of a, a, an interracial couple. It's like all over the place. So, why is the world promoting it? Because there's an agenda behind it. The uh, the uh, Satanists that run the world, the Vatican, the Jesuits, whatever, who run the world, they want, I mean, because again, how is the Antichrist kingdom going to come together? How is the one world government going to be set up by all the races, all the kindreds becoming one, not being separate as God commands? You know, the Bible talks about be ye separate, you know? So the Antichrist wants, or this, you know, people who, someone who's led by the spirit of Antichrist wants everyone to come together as one and you know just world unity and stuff that's how they bring in the antichrist government you know and again people will say oh you're a racist uh what is the definition of racism it, you basically i mean just google racism uh racism is someone who thinks that your race is better than other people's and that uh, the other people's races should be eliminated and that you're just better and you know supremacy uh when have i ever taught racial supremacy i'm saying that races ought to be separate interracial marriage is sin when, when have I ever said that, you know, the black race is superior or something like that? You know, I'm not a racial supremacist. I'm a racial separatist. separatist. That's just how it goes. Because it's what the Bible commands. So, no, I'm not a racist, okay? This term racism is used by the lost world to condemn anyone who, who preaches what the Bible says that the sin of miscegenation is exactly that. It's a sin. And it's kind of funny because Christians have been against miscegenation for hundreds and hundreds of years. But it wasn't until it was legalized in Canada in the mid 1900s that it somehow became acceptable for Christians to be for it and you probably didn't know this but in America uh, I, I mean I'm, I'm in Canada I'm not sure how it goes in Canada but in, in America the people that were behind the legalization of miscegenation actually said that this actually paved the way the, like basically repealing the anti-miscegenation laws actually paved the way for repealing the anti-sodomy laws so the legalization of interracial marriage actually paved the way for the legalization of homosexuality and the legalization of gay marriage. Think about that. So anyway, God bless you. Don't be deceived by this whole miscegenation agenda. It's wicked. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.